Hello everyone, this is Jason for Primetime Aquatics. We recently did a video on how often and how much water you should change in your aquarium. But we've also gotten this next question a lot and that is how often should you test your water? So in this video, we're gonna try to address that question how often should you test the water in your aquarium? So I'd like to look at this issue from a couple different perspectives. The first one is you've got a well-established tank with no known water quality issues. Your fish are doing fine. You have a water change schedule that you've been using for a long time. In that particular case, you may only test your water once every month or two months. In fact, that's the vast majority of what we do in our fish room. Our tanks are stable, our fish are healthy. I don't test all 80 tanks all the time. I might test a few individual tanks every couple of months and just make sure what we're doing is adequate for the fish and the stocking levels that we're keeping. So that's perspective number one, but there are other times when you may want to test your water more frequently. Certainly when you're first establishing a tank, especially if you're not using pre-cycled filter media already. In that particular case, you might wanna be checking your water parameters every couple days to make sure you don't have an ammonia spike, to make sure you don't have nitrite spikes, and continue to do that until you have no ammonia, no nitrite, and you're starting to build up nitrate concentrations. So in that particular case, when you're just starting out, you've got a brand new tank, you're gonna wanna test more frequently to make sure your water parameters are healthy for your fish. And by the way, if you want to know if your water parameters are contributing to your fish being sick, I did a much more detailed video, which I'm gonna put in the upper right-hand corner as well as in the description below. That's a definite thing you could check out if you suspect your water parameters might be hurting your fish. It will take you through that process and how to figure that out. The next reason why you might wanna test your water more frequently is if you've got fish that are dying in your tank and you're not quite sure why. So the obvious reasons like, oh, there was ick in the tank or some very obvious bacterial disease, that's a time when I certainly will test water more frequently. And in fact, when fish die in my aquarium, the very first thing that I do is test the water parameters to make sure that we don't have something going on in that tank that you really can't see with your eyes, but the test strips or the water testing kits will pick up right away. So if you've got fish death, that would be a great time to go ahead and test your water parameters to make sure everything is okay, at least in respect to ammonia and nitrite and nitrate. Another reason why you might wanna test your tank more frequently is if you've got excessive algae growth. In fact, I was talking with someone not too long ago and their tank had a lot of algae. And I asked, okay, what are the nitrates? And the nitrates wound up being very, very high. And so if you've got a lot of algae growth and you're really frustrated by it because it's growing on your decorations, it's all over the glass and you're cleaning it and it just keeps growing back right away, definitely check nitrate concentrations because if they're very high and you're leaving the lights on for a decent amount of time, that can contribute to a lot of algae growth. So that might be another time where I'd want to test more frequently and then keep testing until I've got those nitrates right around 20 parts per million or less. And by the way, we've done videos on how to reduce ammonia nitrites, nitrates, I'll put all those down in the description below as well. So the bottom line is simply this, if your tank is doing awesome and you know that your water change schedule is working out great, you may not test very often. It might be every couple of months, pretty much what we do here. But if you've got any issues, whether it's fish dying, your tank isn't fully cycled yet, that's a time, or you've got excessive algae growth, those are all times where you might wanna test more frequently to make sure the water parameters aren't contributing to issues in your tank. All right, everyone, I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.